Welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. I'm your host, Probability of Success Zero, and this is a continuation of our Series 7 playthrough. Now, before you do anything else, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so that you too can stay up to date with my content as it comes out. And as always, do make sure to check out some of the previous episodes so you have a better understanding of what's going on in this one. So, since the previous episode, we've made our way back over to our base and uh, we've done a little bit of reorganization. So, we had quite a lot of loot from our exploitations off world, and um, we've had to sort of like sort that all out. So, one of the things I've gone and done is because we had so much loot, I've had to build a new structure at our base so i'm just going to quickly show you that uh i will warn you we're sort of expected oh hello that wasn't there before thank you zirak uh we have had a zirak attack as of recent um we are actually expecting a zirak attack any second they don't seem to be turning up though so uh we may have to dob inside if they turn up so anyway Here's our new structure, so we've built, like we've done with the other two structures out here, we've built a little bit of a uh, base extension. So this at the bottom is actually part of our original base. And on top of that is a CV that we've sort of landed on top. And this acts as a remote storage pod. And there we go, we need to get indoors. Let's quickly do that. Here they come. Run over to the window and watch him die. There he is. Bomb incoming. Oh, come on, open the door. Some enemies coming from this direction. Yeah, they'll be dead in a second. That's one down. That's the other one down. So we can turn the uh, point defense off and the shields. Just go out and quickly loot their remains. There's one. Uh, okay, we'll throw that in there for now. Just link onto that. There's the other one. away Bob we're not in the mood today sure it's not despawned already we're not gonna go hunting for it it's gone it's gone Oh, it's landed on top of our ship. That's why we couldn't find it. There we go. We've got it. <laughs> That's convenient. Let's just go over here a sec. Sort this out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll sort this out in a minute enough to worry about so anyway as i was saying um get a torch on get our uh 
weapon out. So we've landed this capital ship on top of the base blocks of the actual workshop and we've made effect god damn it god damn it what what just came running up on us ah there's a rat on i can see where is it there he is Come on, just die already. Lucky raptors. Right, <laughs> carrying on. Right, so essentially all it is is a capital ship that has been landed on top of a series of blocks that are associated with the base. And that is acting as a remote storage pod for all of our loot at the minute. So from anywhere within the kind of perimeter of the base, we're able to access this 640,000 strong or large storage block. And that allows us to uh, just offload some of our more bulky items like the water and uh, kind of plates. Let's just access the Uranus and drop this stuff off. There we go. Um, that's allowed us to sort of like free up things like the star builder over there as well as the workshop because I'm, I'm trying to make sure we don't overload any of our structures. Uh, as always, there is a shield block inside of the tower so that gives it its own independent shield protection and it's obviously being run by the kind of passive um, solar cells. I'm kind of going to miss them once we go over to Reforged Eden 2 because uh, effectively they're getting rid of the uh, solar panels and replacing them with something called plasma turbines so I'm going to miss having them as part of the sort of design aesthetics bit sad so uh, one of the things I've been doing off camera is I've been doing a little bit of exploration around. I've been to both, oops, let's not stand right there. Uh, I have been doing a bit of exploration off world. So I've been to both of the forest moons in orbit of our home world and uh, had a quick look around. Uh, both of them are pretty barren. There's a couple of pirate outposts up there quite a few colonists outposts but nothing to really kind of write home about however one interesting thing that has happened is when we were coming back from one of the moons we got intercepted by the um, warlord or sorry the scar faction they got a ship in orbit called the maker and the maker's actually quite a heavily armed ship it's not a very big ship but it is quite quite heavily armed we did engage it, unfortunately it started kicking our butts quite rapidly with its weapons so we had to disengage. So I have been thinking about how to kind of deal with that. And one of the things I've realised is because we've done the CPU update or the CPU upgrade on the Uranus, we've actually got enough CPU now ready or available to us to actually upgrade all of the Gatlings over to lasers. So, in preparation for that, I've already manufactured all of the lasers. We've dropped them into the um, into the cargo tower at the minute, and I've just put them over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the Gatling turrets off and replace them with lasers to improve the uh, survivability, or more more precisely, the combat capabilities of the Uranus because at the minute the Gats are really good for drones but they're absolutely terrible in ship ship combat so hopefully we just yeah we are linked onto that so we'll just get them off we are gonna have to take shields down for this because we're gonna have to place them on later on uh, let's just turn that off let's just have a look at that are we the shields are off on there. Now we're only going to take eight of the turrets off. We're going to leave the two turrets up there because, you know, they are pretty good against drones. So we're just going to leave them there for now. 
So they will be our primary anti-drone defence. The lasers will be used for capital ship engagement. And because they're able to be used both in atmosphere and outside of atmosphere. It's alright for a minute it wasn't uh, deconstructing then. I'll be careful here that we don't go too far. There we go. Oh, that's getting a bit disorientating. Can we um, respawn the drone? Right, for some reason it was rotating over on itself for some reason. So that's one laser in. That's two laser in. We're going to make sure these stay off to be fair. No, 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 no. Right, let's deal with that straight away. I've already manufactured the laser charges, so we are going to put the laser charges somewhere else for now to make sure this doesn't accidentally start firing off. They're out. Let's just... Uh, because one of the annoying things about placing guns is they automatically switch themselves on. So, for God's sake! Literally! Literally could not wait! You literally could not wait, <clears throat> pardon me, could not wait to actually discharge. God damn it. I mean, I took the bloody ammo out. I've got no laser charges, so why on earth are you firing? Right, let's let's hope that these these guys don't stop just randomly firing on their own. And and again, I've got no charges in there. Again, I, I really wish when you place weapons, they, they're placed in an offline state rather than being online. There's absolutely no need for it. Alright, so we've sorted them out. Hopefully. We go to turrets now. All right, turn them off. So we just want them to engage ground forces and drones. We want them to engage capital ships and everything else. But we only want them to target turrets and mounted weapons right so that seems to be working that does the same thing right great cool annoying oh right we need to um need to do some signal logic work now capital offense capital offense capital offense capital offense capital offense capital offense Capital offence. It's like I'm sentencing someone. Right, so that's sorted that out. So when we go for essentially capital ship mode, the lasers and the missile launchers will come online. When we go to point defence, the Gatling cannons will come online. When we go for sentry defence, the sentry cannons will come online at the back. There we go. 
liking that. Just make sure nothing's on. That's fine. We can now start managing the ammo bay again. There you go. Now let's just check CPU limit. I think we're still well under. Oh my god, we are very, very, very below our CPU limit. Now let's just check out the power consumption. That's because shields are offline. Let's bring shields back online. Shields are online. Oh god, we're gonna get the, the fuel bug. Yeah, so you're wondering why I just did that. There is a repeatable bug in the game at the minute that I've discovered. The first time you log on to the server, if you have fuel in your ship and you offline the shields and then bring them back on, the very first time you do that, it drops all the fuel out the fuel tanks. So to prevent that, what I do is I take all the fuel out, I put it back in, rather than having to spawn fuel back into the game to sort of refill my fuel tanks. It is a repeatable bug. So for those of you who are still experiencing this, this is sort of a way of getting around that for now until it's addressed. Right, so the shield's going online. Yep, shields are online. We are 14 below power. Can we get lighting on? We're one over. That's fine, that's fine. Drop that off and that's fine. Okay. So we can put all the fuel back now. There we go. So I have been doing a bit of work offline, well, off camera. One of the things I've been doing is been using the uh, deconstructor to deconstruct existing kind of ammunition and components to get the uh, minerals and components out of it. Uh, I've also been manufacturing some more emergency rations. So we've been doing that uh i have got a new vehicle i want to bring into the game as well just want to bring the tick out because the tick is being relegated to the upper deck i'm hoping it should be all right up here but we'll we'll find out we yeah we're slightly tilted There we go, that's fine. That stops onto the exterior landing pad. Right, so I have a blueprint for a very heavy tank that I want to bring into the game, uh, simply because I've been having a bit of trouble with some POI, so I thought having a, a tank-like vehicle would probably help with that. Uh, so we'll be bringing that through at some point. But for now, we need to do quick work on the guns. Need to just texture them up. Okay, that's done. Want to save the blue, uh, not the blueprint, the template. Make sure that's up to date. And yeah, we should be all right with that for now. Let's go over to the really annoyed by that hole. Oh, turn the lights off. Don't need them on.
We have burnt through quite a lot of pantaxid, making the uh, the laser kind of rounds. So I'm a little conscious about that. And also we're running low on Promethean pellets. So we may need to go and have a bit of a look around for a Promethean asteroid. So just thinking whether or not we should do that now. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the farm. Pretty sure I've just uh, been in here and yeah, we've harvested all of the crystals already. What we're going to do is manufacture some more rounds in here. Right, so we're looking about 50 rounds and let's just go down to it and we'll go yeah we'll do that that is really annoying me now right so Let's get some to eat quickly. There's a burger. Got plenty of O2. Let's just have a look at our garden. Growing, growing, growing. That's fine. Go back down. Let's have a look. Oh, can't see anything through there. Right, let's have a look at the orbit. I'm pretty certain. On the planet, we've got Promethean, but we're not interested in that. We've got Pantaxid in orbit. So effectively, we could get Pantaxid fuel from the orbit of our own planet if we could get rid of both the Scar Maker as well as the Xerac Corvette. So there's a Xerac Corvette in orbit as well. Uh, that would give us the ability to start mining our own asteroids in orbit of our, of our planet. Uh, however, our priority is not the Pantaxid, it's actually Promethean. Which I'm not noticing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear dear. That's not good. Are you kidding me? Have we got no Promethean asteroids anywhere in our system? Right, I think we're going to have to do a bit of exploring then. Because we are burning through Prometheum quite a bit at the minute. Right, so thrust is on, shields are on. Take off. Yeah, probably a bit ambitious leaving that out there. Hmm. Right. It's just... Oh, we've fallen. Yeah, we've fallen. Put it actually in the hangar. Oh, the shut side door. Yeah, I did.
Right, so the Maker's on the other side of the planet at the minute. Where's the... Zerak? Can't see him. Have a look at the map quickly. Ah, the Zerak's on the other side of the planet as well. And Skull's on the other side of the planet. Yeah, so we're, we're good. Right. I'm pretty certain we've been to this asteroid belt already. We've been to that one as well. Just going to return there and have a look. We're just after Promethium at the minute. Let's jump. Because we've now got these lasers, should mean if we get into trouble, we should be able to kick some serious butt. Oh no. I really should have labelled some of these asteroids. Oops. Oh no, they're labelled, they're labelled. It's alright, we've discovered them all. Titanium. I don't think there is. Hang on. There's one. That's the one we're looking for. And that's the one we're going for. Oh, if I remember correctly, this is where we had the encounter with the uh, Red October. The uh, annoying ship that decided uh, doing a strafing run on us was a good idea. Yeah, let's see that happen again. If I see that ship, I am definitely killing it this time. Right, we're getting quite deep into it. Okay, we're going to have to adjust course. Oh God, damn it. There it is. And break, 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 break. Oh, perfect. All right, let's just run the scanner. Nothing hostile nearby. That's fine. We'll just keep the shields active. For security, we'll have point defense running just in case we get some drones. And right now what we'll do is we'll go into mining mode, which I don't think we've ever ran on this ship yet. And let's access the mining turret. Oops. Right, I think we're going to have to drop. Now go a bit closer and go up a bit. There we go. Get a bit closer. Go a bit further up. Come on. Let's get some of that juicy, juicy Promethium.
got a feeling this is a node that goes all the way through the asteroid. Might actually be connected to this node up here. Probably not then. Is out of range. Don't think so. Right, let's just have a look how much we got there. Go over to the harvest bait. 805. I think we need a bit more than that. So if we just move a little bit closer. Just run the scanner. Make sure there's no one sneaking up on us. No, it looks like the Red October is not hunting us today. He won't get close enough this time. Okay, that bit's done. Let's pull back a bit. Uh, just go up. Yeah, that'll be good enough. That's done. Let's just half around. Gotta be more on this asteroid, surely. Oh, yeah. Big dollop, well, oh, two big dollops on this side. Done. Too close. I think that should be close enough.
let's just have a quick look is there any more in there just a tiny tiny little bit we're not going to worry too much about that and one last dollop underneath okay yeah we should be able to do that bit Right, okay, we're happy with that. Mining mode off, point defense mode off. Is there any other... In oh! We found him! We found him! We found the Red October. Oh, he's dead. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Where is he? Come on, don't you dare get away from us this time. Oh, he's making a run for it, guys. I'm going to have to ping him. There he is, right in front. Oh, you're not getting away. Come on. I'm after burner in as hell at the minute to catch up with him. Come on. He's got to be around here. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Right. Point defense. Sentry. Capital. We are not letting him out of our sight. All weapons online. Oh, he spotted us. <laughs> He's no getting away from us this time. Yeah, he's down. Blind space brakes. He's absolutely KO'd. That's it, guys. That's the ship that took a snipe at us last time. He's down and did he drop any containers i can't i mean detonation happened so damn quick if there was anything it's been lost now right we should be all right to do this we're just going to grab the eva booster drop that into there Grab our sniper. Going to link on to our cargo bay. The 
Yeah, there was nothing left of the ship. Well, we'll have all that, thank you very much. And what we'll also have... Where's the motor tool? I'm going to take your bleeding weapons, mate. But we're going to be clever about this. Oh no, we can't. We can't take the weapons because apparently the core's still intact. Oh, that's not, that's not acceptable. Let's send a drone out. We're not going to stick our heads in the way of anything. Is that door intact? Oh, we've got hostiles on the bridge. He's probably thinking I'm so dead. Yes, you are, mate. You are so dead. That's a reinforced bulkhead. Right, okay. Have we got any C4 on us? Yes, we do. Right. Um, switch over to that. We're going to switch out the drill. C4. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some C4 on the front window. What do you mean you can't place it? Excuse me, I'll put the bleeding C4 where I want to. Oh, can we can we breach on that door? There we go. Door's gone. We're breaching. Hands up. Hands up. We're inside. Wow. It looks like this guy wasn't prepared for this. So where's the uh, the core? The core's got to be. It can't be. Can't be much other places. Literally can't be many other places. Ah, we managed to get through. Um, interesting. I, th I would have said we've taken the core out already. It's it's not under. Where the hell could it be? Right, we're going to see for that. Bit of a loss, but never mind. Hopefully it's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, we're taking the core out. Right, so... To, uh, right, let's just throw. Let's just throw all that in there for now. Oh, there's a fuel tank.
Oh, love it. Nice. That was worth riding the ship for. Come on. All right. If you can't take it, we'll just uh, disassemble it. That's everything of interest here. I think we can just leave that now. Oh, no, we've got one more thruster. And that's just a whole cover shit. Oh, we'll get that force field generator. There we go. That's it. So the Red October is finally down. So is it right for messing with this? after so long I don't think any of those switches actually worked as intended that was a bit annoying all right let's just get our stuff back so it was that 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 uh that that what else is uh uh shotgun that some of that, definitely that. Uh, I think that was over oh, chainsaw, yeah. So the O2, we left the O2 in there. So I think that was everything we had on our person. Not that it matters. I think we've got a fair bit of loot there. I love the fact we've got the heavy rail gun. What? Oh, another one. Right. Okay, boys. We're in combat again. Second pirate ships decide to come and help his comrade who's dead. Yeah, we ain't gonna survive very long. Going to the cockpit view. Gonna push up on him. He's down, he's down. Oh, 
Oh, he's definitely down. Oh, he's definitely down. Right, okay. Sun turrets off. Gonna get a bit closer this time. That's similar design. Stop him spinning. Right, what we're going to do this time, oh, we're going to have to space breach again, aren't we? We'll put point defense on just in case. Oh yeah, we, we gutted this ship. Right, so we'll breach in the same way we did last time. Oops. Um... Let's, can we access that? Yeah, we'll throw that in there. Throw that in there. It's going to pop that. Oh, that's not going to pop anything. That's the wrong place. Come on, blow, 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 blow. Oh, it's moved too far. Right, we're just going to have to do it with the gun, I'm afraid. It should. Not helping the ship spinning like it is. Can we get out this ship because it's proving quite difficult? Come on, mate. We're going to take you away from it rather than you dying at hard back in with space. There's so obviously another cabinet somewhere. I'm trying to find that one. the other one. Come on. Not as good as the first one. I think we've got most of the good stuff off of this one now, uh, except for these engines. So that's two pirate ships we've just KO'd.
Let's just whack gravity on for a sec. Oh, there we go. Oh, that ship is just spinning endlessly in space now. Nice. We've done a good job with that. All right, let's have a look at the loot. We've got no more schematics, but we have picked up a few other things. Uh, we've got another armor booster. We've got a few other things. Nothing to really write home about. Uh, I think, guys, I'm going to probably call it an end just there. We've had a bit of an action-packed episode. We managed to kill two pirate ships, get some Promethium, upgrade our ship. I'm probably going to head home now with all of our booty and uh, put it in the new storage tower or the cargo tower. So for, uh, for now, guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. So for now, guys... Now that we've killed the Red October and it's twin, the uh, Pink November, I'll uh, catch you in the next episode in a bit.